So using that information, let's have a look at um, a past HSC paper. This is a multiple choice from, I think, 2013, I think it was. Um, and the question's, it's given us a, a nice a picture of a, a function, and then it's asking to determine which of the following statements are true. So what that's asking, notice that it's talking about a first derivative fact and a second derivative fact, all at the point A. So remember, the first derivative tells us whether or not the function's increasing or decreasing. The second derivative tells us whether or not it's concave up or down. So the first thing that we should be able to do is eliminate some answers. All right, so clearly at the point A, that function is increasing, which means it has a positive first derivative. So we only want positive values, A and B. So that means straight away, we can scrap C and D as possible solutions because we need that positive first derivative. And now we just need to determine whether or not it's gonna have a positive or negative second derivative. And that's where we talk about concavity. I think it's fairly clear to see as well that at this point here, the curve is sort of, um, is, is that shape. Right, which is a concave down uh, graph, which means that it requires a negative second derivative. Okay, so clearly A is now the correct answer um, to that question. Another question, this one was for the following year, and it's very similar in style. It's got, again, a, a picture of a function. It's got points A, B, C, and D labeled on that function. And the question is asking at which point is the first derivative positive and the second derivative negative, uh, second derivative equal to zero. So again, let's start with the first derivative and decide what that means. The first derivative being positive means that the curve needs to be increasing. Clearly, at A, that curve is not increasing, it's decreasing. So A, definitely not an answer. Where else is it not increasing? At C. Okay, C, it looks like it's, it's stationary. Okay, so C is also not an answer. So we've narrowed it down to B and D, and 50% is far better than 25% chance if you're gonna have a guess. So now we need to decide whether B or D satisfies the condition that we have a zero second derivative. Now a zero second derivative implies a concavity change or a point of inflection. So it's gotta go from concave up to concave down. So it's gotta look something like, that's a concave up part of the curve, then it gets to a point and now it's a concave down or vice versa. It goes from a concave down curve, gets to a point um, and then becomes a concave up one. I've just realized that you can't actually see what I've just drawn there. So, sorry, it's gone from concave uh, up, gets to the point of inflection and then concave down or it goes from concave down, point of inflection and concave up. So it's got to look something like that. And I think it's fairly clear to see again that D has a concave up part of the curve, and then beyond the D point, it's also still concave up. So this doesn't satisfy a second derivative being zero. So we can eliminate D as a solution here, leaving us with B as our answer.